So that's two typical application scenarios. Now let's look at how to configure all these above uh, principles in the applications. First, let's look at some basic VLAN configurations. So actually, if we want to configure the VLAN, first we need to create a VLAN, okay? So using this command, or we can create multiple VLANs. So we can use VLAN batch to create multiple VLAN from VLAN one until VLAN several. Now, if we have already created a VLAN and we need to set the interface type for every interface. Now let's look at how to set the access interface. If we want the interface to have the type of access, then what should we do? Yeah, actually we can use this command. We set the link type to be access. And then we can just give this interface or this part one default VLAN ID. That's all, okay? So with this VLAN ID, they can transmit through this interface, but without this ID, they can, if it's a packet uh, with another VLAN ID, then they cannot be allowed to transmit through this access interface. How about to construct a trunk interface? Yeah, that's also easy. So first you need to give the type to be trunk, and then you need to set the uh, default VLAN ID. So this is the default VLAN ID for the trunk interface. And finally, you need to give the permission list, which the packets from which VLAN can be permitted to go through this interface. Then so you can use this command, which is pod trunk allow path VLAN, include several VLAN. Okay, so that's all configurations for trunk interface. Next one, let's look at how to configure hybrid interface. So for hybrid interface, also you need to set the type, you need to give a default VLAN ID, and also you need to give the permission list. But here, you should give two different permission lists. One is for the untagged permission list. That means the only the packets belong to this VLAN list can be sent out uh, with untagged format. And also you need to give the tagged permission list as this one. Okay, so that's the basic configuration for hybrid interface.